When you think of the worst fate in the back rooms, you might imagine getting stuck deep inside a level somewhere all alone. Or you might think of getting chased by an entity, or you might think of getting sent to level exclamation mark. But I think that I found the worst possible fate, and it's on this level that I'm going over in this video. Level 142, or Earth Jump Studios. Seriously, this is some derealization and horrifying stuff, but y'all tend to like that sort of thing. So, without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Backrooms level 142 is a very strange one to say the least. It has the classification of Class Earth and a survival difficulty of zero. But don't let that fool you because this place is the opposite of safe, quite literally. The level document starts off with, quote, Level 142 is home, or at least the last of it, end quote. So it's a very ominous way to start off the level, I think. But this level is actually split into two different documentations. The first one is in this story format, and the second one is the actual level that you're used to. So I'm going to go over the story part real quick. Quote, Do you remember paradise before it turned gray? Do you remember the heartbeat of the sand caressing your unblemished toes and the freshness of the undulating ocean? Back when discovery was a friend and not a monster. Do you remember the endless chatter of the kids behind the fence, back before you knew they were talking about you? The smell of newly printed paper and your best friend's new backpack? What about the twinkling sounds of triangles and wind chimes on a warm April spring day? A day that you were smart enough to know to appreciate, but not enough to know just how much. Those days you realized you should have held more gently after they started to slip through your fingers and blow away in the wind. Do you remember us? Because we remember you. Come back to us. Come back to Earth. Come back to home. You didn't notice, but the flowers on your mother's garden cheered you on every time you bounded through the door past the white gate. Flowers of all colors, especially your favorites. Red, blue, white. There's this binary code chain here of zeros and ones that apparently translates to the word binary. So it's saying that red, blue, white, and binary are the colors of your favorite flowers. Then it goes on and talking about how you should come to the level and yada 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 and come home. You know how it goes. But the first part does end with, quote, No, you can't be crying. That wasn't supposed to happen. The liquid, your tears, they're going to short circuit the headset. End quote. And of course, the headset is referring to the VR headset that's on this level. So yeah, that was the first part of the level's description. As you can tell, the level is setting up some sort of fake reality. One that looks like yours from Earth, but it isn't. And it all has something to do with the VR headsets on the level. And with that out of the way, let's get into the proper level explanation. So level 142 is the 143rd level inside of the back rooms, and it is classified as a class zero difficulty and is safe and secure and devoid of entities, which is technically true, but it's not actually safe at all. It's pretty much a lie. The level takes the appearance of an infinite VR studio, a virtual reality studio with countless rooms full of green screens and cameras and VR headsets and anything that you can think of that might be in a VR studio. Each VR room looks slightly different from the rest, but they do all share a few common properties. For example, each room has a refrigerator that restocks automatically at random times with drinks and food, and there's other things like that that would make you want to stay here for a long period of time. Because on the outside, it looks harmless and chill, you know? The VR headsets themselves seem to never run out of battery, and they never get dirty or anything like that. But the real weird stuff happens when you put on the headset itself. When you're wearing one, wanderers say that there's only one playable game in the menu that you see. Its title is Earth, and you can probably guess what it is by the name, obviously, but it's a fully immersive VR replica of the real world. Everything from reality is here. All the continents and planes and people, it's literally all here. It's just like reality in a headset. Wanderers have also reported that when they have the headset on, they can feel sensations like pain or happiness. And on top of that, they say you can actually feel things in the game, like the grass under your feet and the water and the dirt. You can, you can feel it, actually. It all feels completely real. Now I bet you can see where the problem with all this is. And because of this, the level has had a massive influx of people unaliving because they're staying in these headsets for so long that they just wither away. 
they forget to take them off. They get too entranced in this fake reality because they think it's real. And they just don't ever take it off. They forget they're not actually in reality. They're stuck in a backrooms level. When wanderers first put on the headset, they'll be sent to the place that they spent the most time at as a kid. And typically that's a childhood home, but it could be a school. Every item in your home or your school will be in the exact same spot that it was in real life. And there'll even be food and stuff in your refrigerator and items and stuff on a desk. I mean, it's literally just there. It feels completely real. Some people have wandered away from their homes and the places they've been to and have traveled to new places like a new state or a new country only to see that they don't exist in the game. They're just these weird, glitchy, staticky void areas. It's almost like a game map that you haven't unlocked yet. It's at this point that if this happens to most people, they take off the headset and they remember that it's all fake. It gets dangerous when people do not venture out of the places they haven't seen. If people stay in their house or if they stay near where they grew up, everything looks normal. It kind of traps them there in this nostalgic hellscape. There are no bases here in this level, and to enter, you can find an electronic device of some kind showing a childhood song or a show or a game or something on level 18, touch it and you'll get sent here. But to exit, you have to go to the nearest front desk of the VR studio that has a door behind it labeled staff only. Walk through the door and you'll be sent to another level in the back rooms. Whatever you do, do not put on a headset and get lost in this fake world because it's not real. You're already in an alternate reality. Don't go in the alternate reality of the alternate reality. Okay? Thanks. So yeah, that was level 142. Hope you enjoyed it. Thought it was a great concept. I really like derealization stuff, so this is pretty cool. Thank you for everything. Make sure to sub and like if you want to help a brother get to a million subscribers. And if you don't, that's okay. I don't really care, but I wish you did. That'd be nice. Also, I don't plug it that often, but I do have a merch page. It's always in the description of the videos. If you want to buy some Brooklyn merch, check it out. It's pretty cool. I designed the entire thing myself. I really uh, worked pretty hard on it. I think it turned out very well. I literally wear mine all the time. And if I could have a suggestion for you, I suggest the premium pullover hoodie. That hoodie is the most comfortable thing I'll ever have put on my body. Let me tell you, like, all bias aside, it is genuinely so comfortable. But I will be coming out with a new merch drop this summer. Stay tuned for that. It's in the works right now, as well as other things coming. Uh, I'm actually in the process of making a U2's doll with the U2's company, so stick around for that. Thank you for all you do. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video on any of my channels, Brugly, Tugly, or Spookly. I'll, I'll see you somewhere. Thank you for everything. Peace.